welcome back to my channel. I'm when you're feeling down and your mind is under pressure, don't you worry, cause I know it will get better. So speak life and it will turn out in your favor. Just wanna let you know that this will make you stronger. If you know see the house yet, claim it. If you know see the money yet, claim it. If you know see the land yet, claim it. If you know see the job yet, claim it. If you know see promotion yet, if you know see the business yet, if you know see the care yet, if you know see the hey, when lessons over me. Hi guys, so I'm going to go ahead and redo this Chester draw that I have. Uh, my mother gave it to my son. Um, we had it for a while. It been through some rough times, as you can see. A couple of the front of the drawer fell off, and because we were moving to our new house, I decided that it's time to make it over so that it can look pretty good in my son's room. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I achieved the look. So for this DIY, we're going to need a couple of instruments. We're going to need pliers. We're going to need, this is actually a quarter pound of half inch nails. These are the very tiny nails. Um, this is my hammer, don't judge it. The handle broke off, so this is what I'm left with. Uh, you're gonna need a screwdriver. Um, I have the electric screwdriver but you can use any screwdriver that you have um, you're going to need sandpaper to sand down the dresser um, in my case it's a chest of draw i bought two but i think i'm going to need more so i might have to go back to the store this one is a 80 grit and a 320 grit sandpaper you're going to need these are the roller pads for the when you're painting it um, this is the, the 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 handle for the roller pads um, you're also going to need um, these are kind of like elbow um, braces I put them inside the draw to keep it secure because the front of my draw keeps falling off so I'm going to use this to you know to secure it I bought different lengths because you have the smaller drawers and the longer ones I bought these tiny screws because the screws that I bought originally were too long so I bought these tiny short ones hoping they work you're also gonna need a paintbrush a small tiny paintbrush because um, even though you're gonna use the roller there are gonna be some areas that you're not going to be able to get in with the roller so I bought this one to use with it you're going to need um, wood glue I bought this um, to you're gonna need it to um, actually glue the inside of the jars to secure it together in addition to the nails um, when everything is finished and you have sanded it I'm going to you're going to need um, <clears throat> this is actually spray um, primer I couldn't get any small containers of primer so I just went ahead and buy, and buy the the spray spray one um, because they only had gallons and I didn't want a gallon because I'm not going to use a lot this is actually a mixed paint the color that I'm going to put on the Chester draw yeah so that is it that is all that you're going to need for this DIY it looks like it's off I'm about to um, put some glue on it and screw it up and put it brand new so right here as you can see using my hammer or what's left of it I'm removing the nails from the side of the drawer that they actually use to secure the front of the drawer to the rest of the drawer I hope that makes sense so I'm just using my hammer to remove those tiny nails because I'm going to actually put them back on it or put some new ones on pardon my son my son likes to be involved when I'm doing things that's just him he's always around me when I'm doing things 
So right now I'm putting the glue inside the creases where the bottom of the drawer was. So that's what you're seeing me doing here, adding some glue in the creases so that I can slide the bottom of the drawer back in. So this is the brace as I showed you before that I'm going to put in the side of the drawer. I did a couple of them before but I'm going to use this one to show you exactly what to do. So for the other one that I did, the front of the drawer which is actually this part actually came off. But this one is okay but I'm still going to do the same thing that I did with that one. Alright, so this is the issue. They're falling out. This came off. Um, I'm going to try and turn it over. The, the drawers are broken off. Um, so I'm going to replace those as well. So now that the glue, I left it for a little while. So now that it's kind of curing, um, we're going to go ahead and put on our braces on the inside so i'm going to use the bigger one because as i said the bigger drawers i use the bigger ones and see the elbow brace on the inside of the drawer where the front meat is the sides so i'm just going to use the screws that i have as i said before i had some i bought some tiny screws but even though i bought the tiny screws i realized that they were still too too tall they actually gave me four screws in the pack but i only used two because i didn't think i need to use four to fasten it onto the side so i only used two and they were still too tall the tiny ones that i bought were still too tall as you can see i'm going to show you in a few where the the side the the screws actually protruded out to the side so that made it a little bit difficult when the drawers are ready to go in i'm going to show you that step. so this is me fighting to get the screws in <laughs> well yeah here it is where i'm showing you where the size of it actually came out even the short screws couldn't fit so I had to um, saw off the sides of those screws so that the draw could actually go in. So I'm now removing the excess glue on the inside that I put. This is another drawer where the front of it fell off. Um, so I'm just doing the same process, removing the nails from the side, removing the bottom to glue the inside of the creases again and then i'm going to put the top on and put the braces on So right here, I just removed the bottom and I'm putting the glue on the inside and on the outside. Don't forget to put the glue on the outside because you want to ensure that it's well secure. So now I'm removing the hardware from the front of it because you know I'm going to put brand new hardware on. So this is what it looks like once I'm done, all the drawers. By this time we've moved into our new house and the drawers are inside. As you can see some of the drawers are still protruding because I didn't get to saw off the sides of the, the, the screws. Now I'm going to go ahead and sand down the front of the drawers. I'm setting my camera because I'm outside and I don't have a camera stand so I'm, I'm using my phone. So I'm actually trying to set the camera. So now I'm standing. And I use the 80 grit sandpaper on this one. Um, you guys, you don't need to sand it very heavily. You just want to sand it to get the the laminate front off of it, the sheen that was on it. You just want to sand it enough to get that sheen off. So you don't have to sand it very hard. I'm using my electric sander that I bought at Dunn's. Um, 
So yeah, I don't need to have you don't need to turn it to it already. As you can see right here, I'm getting the items that I need to finish the project. I'm now sanding it off with a light uh, microfiber cloth to get all the dust particles off because when you're painting it, you don't want any dust particles to lay on it. So in the next process, I'm going to use the primer to spray on the front of the draw. You want to get it on the sides where the sides are going to protrude um, when you put them inside the frame. So I'm actually going to put these out um, of the way so I can start working on these two draw. So I'm just going to repeat the process by sanding the front of it and then using the magnifier cloth to remove all of the particles. Once I'm done doing that, I'm going to use the primer. And I'm going to show you the primer once again so you can see the exact one that I bought. Um, in this process, I'm actually sending the top of the, the, the top of Now I'm using the microfiber cloth to remove all the dust particles. I'm now using the primer to put on the top as you can see it's a bit windy. So um, point to notice when you're going to do this if you're using the spray. You want to do it when you don't have a lot of wind outside. I'm going to pause here and I'm going to go inside for my face mask because the fumes were spraying into my face and I don't know what this Okay, so now that I'm back, I'm just finishing up the front of it because these are all the parts that will be shown. And you don't even need to use a lot of primer um, to make it white, 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 white because you're going to paint. You just need to put like a little, a little coat on it. So I did the front and I did the sides. I think I used a whole bottle of primer on this project. So it's now time to start painting. So I used the roller at first to get most of the paint on. As you can see, I switched to the brush, but the brush was giving me lines in it. So don't be worried about the lines because the more coats you put on, the lines will disappear. But I used the roller because the roller moved a little faster. As you can see, my outfit changes a lot. So by that, you can tell that I did this project over a number of days because I have to work. So 
I try to do it on weekends or when I'm home and when I find time to do it. So it took me a while but this project can be done in like one day if you reserve the time to do it. So there my, there's my son again. So right now I'm just leaving it to dry a little but you don't have to do that you can just move on to the other one. So I'm done with that one and I'm going to start on another one. So I'm going to start working on these. These ones I actually had to dab in the creases to get it all in it because of the pattern that is on the front of it. All in all, I think I gave these um, drawers probably about three to four coats of the paint. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to now start working on the big piece. So as you can see, I'm using the roller on the top. I think I actually used the roller on all of it because the roller gave me a more smoother look. I really didn't like the line in the brush. So this is my neighbor, he just came over to talk to me a little bit about something. And then we are back to the project. So I decided to use the blue because that's the color scheme I'm going to use for my son's room. And the color scheme I think is blue, white and a little bit of yellow to give it some pop. Um, so I decided to put this in blue. This paint is actually water paint. It's a mixed paint that I bought. I bought it at Rapid True Value as well. Um, I don't remember the cost of it though. I think it's probably around 1000 or 3000 I really don't remember and I don't want to tell any price that I don't really remember. But I know it wasn't expensive and I mean I still have a lot of it left over. As I said, I gave it about three to four coats so that it came to the color that I wanted it to come to because once you add the primer on it, it's going to give it a light blue and that's not the color that I wanted. I wanted the dark blue color. So I actually gave it a number of coats. So now I'm using the brush to get to the underside of the feet. And this is what it looks like once I'm done. So I'm about to show you the finished project. So here's the finished project that I actually put new hardware on. I got those hardware at Dunn's as well. They were very inexpensive. You can see the size of the draw still because at this point I hadn't removed all the screws that were protruding. But all in all the project came out really well and it fits right into my son's room. Um, so this project wasn't expensive. It actually each of those um, hardware's the handle cost about a hundred dollars each um, And it's about Eight of them. So I paid about eight hundred dollars to a thousand dollars for all the hardware the paint Was about call it three thousand because I don't remember if I paid one thousand or three thousand So you can call it about three thousand for the paint. The primer was a thousand dollars. So all in all, this project cost me $5,000.
blessings will run over Double the ocean, double money Double the care, double the coming 